Sometimes when you learn a new program, it can seem rather daunting. There's so many options, so many things you can use, so many buttons you don't understand. Just so much going on. So what I'm going to do in this quick demo is paint a little face. And I'm going to do it showing one of my favorite features in Painter. First of all, I really believe that the easiest way to learn a new program is to just pick the first tool and start painting with the simplest setup. So in this case, I have created a new image. It is a green paper color. It is 1200 by 1600 pixels. I'm not going to use any layers. I'm only going to use one brush, and that is the acrylics captured bristle brush. I have lowered the opacity because I personally like to paint with less opacity. Other than change the opacity, the only change I'm going to make to the brush is the size. And the hotkeys for that on the PC are Control and Alt. So you can see I can drag up or down whatever size I want. Tells you the radius up above. This is the way I will size my brush when I paint. As far as color, when I start something out, I will pick colors from the color palette. But once I get a few colors established, then I will start selecting colors from within the painting itself. Also, in this particular demo, I'm going to use a mirror painting feature. You can see once I've turned it on, you've got a line down the middle of this. To turn it off, I will click this button on or off. But for most of this painting, I'm going to use it on using only one brush the acrylics captured bristle brush, changing its size and opacity occasionally. I am going to paint a head using the mirror painting feature so that when I draw one side of the head, the other will be painted automatically. So without talking a whole bunch more, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So on in the initial steps here, what I'm doing is just quickly blocking in the outline of the face. Now it doesn't look like a regular face because I decided to paint an alien. So I didn't say I was going to paint a normal person. So you're going to see me paint a little bit of an alien here. You can see how quick this goes. Now this is sped up about 400%. The original painting took just uh, right around 20 minutes. And this version of it is going to run about 5 minutes. I'm experimenting trying little different shapes and things. You can see how quick it makes. It makes the whole process of drawing something symmetrical and, and faces are really the perfect object. So I've sized the brush up a little bit more and using it to block in the main colors. It of course is painting both sides as we go and I will usually work a little bit from darks to lights I find with a traditional painting background that's uh, the easiest for me. And especially when I'm painting something quickly and fast like this, without layers, any of the extra things I could use, it, it just works best for me to work from my darks to my lights. You may have uh, a different way. Eventually I will switch and be picking the colors mostly from in the image. But at this point again, I'm just trying to get a feel for what I want to do. Little green man with big purple eyes. I like to vary the color uh, across uh, an object so that it doesn't look like it's made of uh, necessarily one flat color. So that's why you'll see a little more light lemony greens in the top of the head and little blue or cooler colors down as we get lower in the image. I emphasize again it's one brush. All I'm doing is changing the size as I go. Often if you try to dig into a lot of the extra features or the program in a little more depth it will make the actual painting drawing process slow down quite a bit because you're searching for uh, different features. Hence why I like to do it uh, just quick like this. That doesn't mean I won't use more brushes and layers and other things, but often if I'm just showing how to use the program or I'm starting to teach a digital painting class, 
I always start with the simplest way possible to approach the subject. Zoom in a little bit. I like to work where I can see the whole thing initially. That will make it easier to make sure that the forms and things are working right. But then I do start to zoom in to start to add more details and refine the subject a bit more. Smiling quite big. Make his ears a little bit pointed. A lot of this is just kind of thinking on the go. What would look good? What would be fun? What can I show to help make the point of how easy this is to do and what a, what a great feature this mirror painting is? Instead of erasing, I'm actually just painting with the background color here and there. Light in the top of his head where the light is coming from. Clean up his eyebrows a little bit, his eyelids. This is really more a sketch than a complete painting. I really love doing this quick kind of thing. Side that I think he needs to be a little more dapper, so I'm going to add a bow tie. So as you can see, mirror painting, great feature. Wonderful to use when you want to just kind of doodle and have some fun, especially if what you want to be doodling with is uh, symmetrical. Really, really great. Uh, you don't need to use every feature to just learn painter. Uh, just jump in there with a couple of brushes, single layer, and get started.